We've got the dynamic duo. This is better than Batman and Robin. We're talking Mark Pitsky and Stephanie Rivera. Hi, TJ. Thanks much. We're all set for the second half of our doubleheader. It'll be Loyola, 6-21 and 21 a year ago, taking on Colgate. Colgate played last night. They lost to Valpo, 79-63. Mark Pinsky alongside Stephanie Rivera. And for the Ramblers, Stephanie, Katie Winsky, also Laura Wolf, the backcourt for this team, will be the key to their success this season. Oh, definitely. They're going to have to rely on Katie Winsky for her floor leadership and Laura Wolf for her, her scoring and her um, ability to get open and shoot those three. Wolf a year ago averaged 13 points per game. Winsky coming back after suffering a broken cheekbone one year ago. We're all set now. We'll take a timeout, then come back and tee it up. It's Loyola and Colgate, the second game of our doubleheader. Stay with us here on Sports Channel. Loyola Ramblers basketball is brought to you in part by the Chicago Tribune. Power Bar, fuel for optimum performance. WBBM TV Channel 2 and by Harris Bank, helping you make better choices. Introducing the new sports section of the Chicago Tribune. It's the in-your-face, no holds part. Take no prisoners, show no mercy. Tell it like it is on the glass edge of your seat. This could be wild, extreme, close up. Now I've seen everything. You ain't seen nothing yet. You gotta see. You gotta be crazy. Why didn't I think of that? Heart stopping, gut wrenching. You want to so certain with him. Press my way. It's gone. Got a sports section. Pick up the new sports section of the Chicago Tribune. Extra shot, iced, half decaf, grande, half skim. Vanilla. You want a what? A Tosca latte every day. Is it the coffee that has you hooked, or do you just want to be hit? I can't drink anything else. Everyone seems to be hooked on Starbucks. But how much do you really know? Channel 2 News brews up the facts. Find out how many calories are in your frappuccino. What about caffeine? How much are you paying for the Starbucks name? And what's their plan to keep you coming back? Coffee's part of my life. Everything you wanted to know about Starbucks. Tonight on Channel 2 News at 10. The most storied tradition in all of sport. The man that makes the story. The place to see the man. Go behind the scenes of the 1996 Fighting Irish Team on the Lou Holtz Show. Monday night at 6 on Sports Channel. What Irish fans want. The back live at the Joseph J. Gentile Center. Mark Pinsky alongside Stephanie Rivera. Former head coach of the Chicago Twisters, now the assistant coach at Trinity International in Deerfield. Loyola, a year ago, 4-13 in the MCC. Colgate from Hamilton, New York. They come out of the Patriot League. They were 12-17 last year. We're all set for the starting lineup. Let's join public address announcer Pat Schultz. At one forward position, a 5'11 sophomore from Northfield, Massachusetts, number 30, Megan Gibbons. At the other forward, a 5'8 senior from Guilford, Connecticut, number 34, Kara Kruzman. At the center position, a 6-foot senior from Hoover, Alabama, number 41, Maya Britt. At one guard position, a 5'7 junior from Madison, New York, number 11, Carla Main. And the other guard, a 5'6 senior from Palis Heights, Illinois, number 23, The Raiders is Ron Roan. His assistants are Nadine Mastrillo and Molly Elliott.
in terms of scoring, 12th in rebounding. Colgate lines up this way. They're coached by Ron Rohn now in his second year. He was 12 and 17 last year. Maine in the backcourt with Danielle Isles. The Gibbons up front with Chris Molly. Maya Britt, the six-footer from Hoover, Alabama, at center. For the Ramblers, and Keir Rogers, a backcourt of Katie Winsky and Laurel Wolf. Erica Johansson up front with Renessa Gaudio and Nicole Richards. Your officials are Bernie Baraboo, Kelly Hill, and Gus Lignall. The Joe Gentile Center, this is the second half of our doubleheader. The men's team knocked off Eastern Kentucky by three, 66 to 63. This is the first ever meeting between Loyola and Colgate. And the tip controlled by uh, the Red Raiders. And they run it up the floor to Carla Main on the wing. Player to player defensively for Loyola. There's Molly in the lane. And a three second violation called against Colgate. I mentioned, Stephanie, that Valpo knocked off Colgate last night, 79 to 63. How difficult is it to play two games in less than 24 hours? It can be difficult. However, I'm sure that both teams are really ready for this since it's the beginning of the season. I don't think their uh, their legs will be too tired. I'm sure they're in really good shape after a good, hard preseason. Winsky on the penetration threw it away. A steal. Chris Molly tracked it down on the sideline. And Maine off the aisles. And the open jump shot, no good. And they missed by Maya Britt. Katie Winsky, the senior guard from Maine West High School in the swing. And Gaudio couldn't handle the feed. I think Gaudio at that time just wanted to do uh, something with the ball before she had it. Long jump shot by Chris Molly is short. And they battle for the rebound. Held ball and the possession will go to Loyola. In last night's Valpo victory over Colgate, uh, Valparaiso made 11 threes compared to four for Colgate. The Red Raiders were 9 of 19 from the field in the first half, 15 of 38 in the second half. Turnovers obviously cost them a lot of shot attempts in that opening half. I think we got a little bit of pushing down low trying to get position. Johansson really working hard to get position, and we uh, got a little bit of a hold down there. And Megan Gibbons picking up the foul, her first, our game's first. Wolf left of the lane, backs it out. Here's Richard posting inside. Wheels got it blocked, but gets it back. Winsky in the lane. And Chris Molly runs the other way, one on three. Winsky the steal. Good hands by Katie Winsky. During the 93-94 season, she had 92 steals. Wolf at the left elbow. Off to Gaudio. Her jump shot is short. And Megan Gibbons clears. And they run to Isles. Carla Main. 30 is Gibbons. Chris Molly. And again, Isles. Maya Britt. The Gibbons they got held foul on Johansson. A lot of bounds and a fresh 30 here for Colgate. No score. Early going from the Joe Gentile Center. Chris Molly had 20 points last night. Looking to get on track here today. The Gibbons inside. Britt will fall away. The Johansson clears for Loyola. Winsky feeds the post and a foul called on Maya Britton early on, Stephanie. It looks as though Loyola would like to go inside with Winsky penetrating. 
I think they're definitely going to try to work the inside game. That way they're going to be able to open up those outside threes. Gaudio to trigger. Here's Wolf. Gaudio inside for Johansson and a turnover. Maya Britt to steal. Miles front court. Pull up shot by Maine is good. And that's our first two points of the evening. I think both teams have a little bit of a, the jitters here, getting themselves going. Lola has turned it over three times, and the Red Raiders fight. Joe Hansen mid post, fires hard, deflected, and Chris Molly runs ahead. And back to Isles, she direct traffic. And Danielle Isles, a local product from Allen B. Shepherd High School in Palos Heights. Gibbons missing. That's alive by Chris Molly. Miles has the ball guarded by Winsky. Off the screen, Gibbons. And now Carla Main for three. Wouldn't go. Johansson has her second rebound. Johansson did a really nice job of coming to the ball on that rebound. She had a good block out and she really went after the ball. Laurel Wolf, a three on the way. Nope. And here come the Red Raiders on the run. And Daniel Isles off the main. And now Gibbons. Four minutes gone. It's 2 0 Colgate. Isles left of the key. 10 to shoot. Maine backed it out. Chris Maley got the step. Lost control. Wolf slaps it away. Now backcourt foul called on Colgate. It'll be Loyola Ball when we come back. 15-34 remaining. So far, Colgate pitching a shutout. They lead the Ramblers 2-0 here on Sports Channel. Boy, they were down by... This Thanksgiving, your Dodge dealer has prepared some very special things, like a tempting $1,000 cash back or 1.9 financing on Dodge Neon. $1,000 cash back or 1.9 financing on Dodge Stratus. Or help yourself to package value discounts up to $14.57 on Dodge Ram. But hurry, because this Thanksgiving, there might not be any leftovers. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. for today's game have been granted to Sports Channel Chicago by Loyola University of Chicago. Any reproduction or rebroadcast of this game without the written consent of Sports Channel and Loyola University is prohibited. Loyola thus far 0 for 5 from the field. Colgate 1 out of 6 from the floor. Still player to player defensively. And he's kept out of bounds by Katie Winsky. Loyola a year ago had Claire Malloy on their team. She's since graduated. You see the field goal stat there. Claire Malloy had over 1,200 career points. She also led the MCC in three point field goal percentage. And she was fourth in the conference in scoring. She was second team all MCC. So the Ramblers have to make up for Claire's loss this season. Long jump shot by Isles, no good. And it's out of bounds here to Loyola. The Ramblers 
during the exhibition season. Lost to the Chicago Challengers. They were also beaten by Slavyanka. In fact, in that game to the Chicago Challengers, Claire Malloy played for the Challengers. She had 17 points. Laura Wolf played well for the Ramblers. She had 20. And Nicole Richards had 10 points, also nine rebounds in the loss of the Challengers during the exhibition season. Kelsey Weeks came in the game. A sophomore from Ridgewood, New Jersey. The Red Raiders. Offensive foul has been called against the Ramblers. I'm not sure if Kier Rogers appreciated that call. I don't think so. It's always hard when you got the your post people battling down low. It can go either way a lot of times. So Erica Johansson picks up the foul, her second. We're likely to see Carrie Jurowitz in a hurry. Long jump shot. Good. It's a three and by Carla Main. She has five and Main. Nothing. Owinski dancing off the right side. And now Richards back to Katie. And Nicole Richards on the move. Winski will try a three. Nope. And Maya Britt snaps it down for the Red Raiders. Here's Kelsey Weeks, number 15. Around a big screen by Carla Main. Whistle inside off the ball. And a push. Follows on Richards. We're going to see Loyola go into a zone on an inbound play down low. And we'll see Loyola stay in that zone. Yeah, they're good. Um, early in the season, they've only gotten in a couple of defensive packages. They're probably they're right now in a two-three. The inbound to Maine. Inside Gibbons who scores. Megan Gibbons, her first field goal. 5'11 sophomore from Northfield, Mass. She averaged six points, five rebounds last year. And it's 7 0 Colgate. 6 20 gone, opening half. Laura Wolf, left wing. Foul call, that time Gibbons as Johansson was posting up strong inside. I, I think we're going to see a battle all night long between Johansson and whoever is going to be guarding her. They, they're going to probably rotate a lot of bodies on her. 15 foul. The unnatural check in next whistle for Colgate. And Johansson turns and fires and scores. Erica Johansson puts the Ramblers on the board, and it's a 7 2 Colgate lead. With Johansson averaged six points, five rebounds last year, shooting 35% from the field. Gibbons a strong move. Kept alive by Britt, but they say she was standing on the a baseline and it turns over to the Ramblers as Leanne Nasser comes in for Ron Rohn's club. Leanne Nasser out of Wyndham, New Hampshire. 6-1 and a freshman. Katie Winsky, who's eighth all time in career assists in Loyola history. The Ramblers, one for seven, now one for eight from the field. Maya Britt, another rebound. Kelsey Weeks will bring it out. And Maine on the perimeter. Chris Maley. Weeks bottled up by Winsky, who's playing tough defense. Shot clock inside of 15. Britt missing hard. Loose on the floor. And Johansson has it. Tried to feed Winsky in another held ball. Just love to see their players get down on the floor like that. There was a couple of bad decisions trying to get the ball out of the uh, pilot, but you gotta love their excitement and going after, going after the ball and getting on the ground. And Joe Hansen leaves. Jurowitz comes on, a junior, six-one from Deerfield High School, and a psychology major. There's a foul as Chris Molly tried to make her move. is on Renessa Gaudio. They call it a shooting foul. And that'll send Chris Molly to the foul line for a couple. 
I don't think Coach Rogers is too excited that that was called a shooting foul. She knew she was in trouble. She just tried to throw it up there. Chris Malley off the mark with a free throw. She shot 73% from the foul line last year, starting all 29 games. Eight to two, Colgate. Here's Katie Winsky. In on a week, off to Jurowitz for two. Great dribble penetration. The center moved over to try to pick Winsky up. She dumps it to the, to the open uh, player. Easy bucket. Short jump shot by Nasser is good. And it's 10 to 4, so the scoring picking up a bit. Eight minutes gone. It's 10 4 in favor of Colgate. Winsky for the Ramblers. On the wing to Wolf. The Jurowitz. Now Gaudio. Wolf is open for three. Nope. She may have gotten fouled after the shot. No yeah, there, was, there was contact. Definite contact after that shot. Chris Molly for three. Hard. And Nicole Richards makes it down for the Ramblers. Up the floor to Winsky. Five on five. Winsky around the screen. Throws up the runner. No Good. Maya Britt, the rebound. Kelsey Weeks on the move. Stop and go, then the ball away. Nice shot. That was a tough Kelsey shot. She really didn't have much there. She made and created that shot. Kelsey Weeks scoring in a 20-second timeout taken by Keir Rogers. How about Kelsey Weeks on the move here? As she hits a fall away jump shot, Stephanie. She had really nowhere to go. She was she was looking all the way for herself, and she puts it up, and it's bottom of the net. Weeks out of Ridgewood, New Jersey, in high school. Four years in a row, she was all league. She scored over a thousand points during her high school career. The Ramblers a year ago ranked second in the country in three-point field goal percentage. They shot 40%. They're also second in the MCC in free throw percentage at 71%. I'm, I'm sure Car Chris Maley um, really helped that percentage with her 36% beyond the three-point arc. 12 to 4. And Loyola basketball. At the high post, Wolf wide open. She drains the jump shot. Set that play up. 12 to 6 our count. Leanne Nasser. Long jump shot by Maine is good. A three. She has eight. Carla Maine connecting. It's a nine-point Colgate lead. Winsky. There's Wolf. Laura Wolf out of Percy High School in Mount Prospect. Babbage with the ball. Babbage out of Resurrection High School. Six on the shot clock. The Wolf with three to shoot. Winsky along two. Got it off in time but missed it. And now a foul call, loose ball foul called against Nicole Richards. to six Colgate on top of the Rambler stay with us more to come Steve Young for Power Bar who hasn't eaten a candy bar at the movies when you're sitting back watching a movie a candy bar is fine but life isn't one big movie that's why there's Power Bar energy bars they're low in fat made from healthy foods packed with nutrients and deliver lots of complex carbs for sustained energy so if you want to be ready for the challenges of life rely on a Power Bar energy bar it's real energy for the real world. This is Joe Gentile, the Baron of Barrington from Joe Gentile's Chrysler Plymouth. Wouldn't you like to have a wonderful experience buying a new car? Well, you can have that buying experience at Joe Gentile's. We'll give you top dollar for your trade-in, tell you exactly what you're paying, and get you the best possible interest rates. You'll also find the best service with free service loaners. Come out and see me personally, Joe Gentile, with a dealer who has been in business for over 40 years. Call me at 
Situation. Michael there for the on behalf of the James Jordan Boys and Girls Club. As Nike presented a five million dollar check. We saw that live on Sports Channel. Nike giving five million dollars to the Boys and Girls Club across America. Fifteen to six here. And a turnover. Laurel Wolf has it. Winsky's going to set it up for the Ramblers. Wolf off the screen. Pressured by Kenny Murphy. Johansson trying to fight for the rebound. And it's out of bounds. So Rogers perhaps gambling a bit here, Stephanie, playing Johansson with two fouls. I think he definitely needs some offensive rebounds. Loyola's come down the floor a few times and only gotten one shot. I think he wants to keep some uh, tough rebounding in, maybe get some second, third shots. Ramblers are three of 14 from the field. In the meantime, Colgate six out of 15. <laughs> out of bounds to Loyola as Tara Babich went down hard. She's okay and will stay on. 15 to six, 11 minutes gone, first half. Winsky for the Ramblers. Now they are really trying to set up Laura Wolf for an outside shot. They got one there. Wolf has four of the eight Ramblers points. Now a turnover through the hands of Katie Murphy. And out of bounds. In the meantime, Murphy now will sit on Ron Rohn's bench. She comes back with Megan Gibbons. Jen Critchley also leads. They've got Carla Main now on Wolf. Let's see how, how good a job she does getting through those screens. Wolf here coming off a double pick. Winsky out high. Johansson in the post. Turns and shoots. Nope. Rebound by Allen McDonald. by senior Katie Winsky. She knows exactly where the ball's going. Holgate basketball. Kelsey Weeks played by Winsky. There's Maine. She threw it away. And now Winsky on the run. Four on two if they hurry. Open shot by Babich. No good. And Winsky keeps it alive. Up top to Wolf. The open three. Uh-uh. Another held ball. And it's out of bounds here to the Ramblers. Uh, but first, the timeout will be taken. 7.58 remaining. Colgate on top of the Ramblers, 15-8. same ritual. Lacing up the skate, putting your jersey on, the helmet, the gloves, your stick. As you prepare for the first game, thoughts of home, Esposito, and Makita fill your mind. You know when you step out onto the ice in front of 20,000 fans, 
There's nothing like being a Chicago Blackhawk. It feels like hockey. Hi, I'm Roger Rudin, General Sales Manager of Willowbrook Ford. When you're in the market for a new car or truck, you have options that you can exercise. One is you can go with Ford Credit on a retail side. Two is you can go with Ford Credit on a lease side and only pay for the car for the amount of time that you actually use it. We can lease this 1997 Ford Escort for only $279 per month with absolutely no money down. Willowbrook Ford, a half mile north of I-55 on Route 83. me out there what I do is get rid of the blindfold if there's money on the floor you got to get after it you definitely see me hustling after those envelopes <laughs> Johansson missing on the rebound a foul against the Ramblers Leanne Nasser pulled down the board Loyola four of 19 from the field and Colgate six out of 16 Jerowitz picking up the foul seventh on the team so bonus situation and Leanne Nasser at the foul line for one and one opportunity. Nasser lettered in volleyball as well as basketball in high school. Seems like Stephanie, a lot of high school athletes would choose volleyball as well as basketball, and then in college, usually you have to make a choice. It's pretty hard when you're playing at this high a level to play two sports. 17 to 8 full court pressure, a diamond press put on against the Ramblers. Jurowitz, Winsky, Wolf is open for three, got it! Laura Wolf has seven. She made 30 threes a year ago. That's her first home run ball today, and it's 17 to 11. The Ramblers down by only six. Kristen Donahoe shovels inside, pretty free to Leanne Nasser. And Nasser, off the bench, has six. Wolf has scored the last seven Loyola points. Winsky inside, and still has the foul line. She had a nice pick and roll move. She had it with her high post. You'll see the pick and roll. She's got the lane. Her post can't get down there, so she sees the hole. She goes for it and draws the foul. Katie Winsky played basketball, volleyball, as well as softball at Maine West. She redshirted last season because of that broken cheekbone. A couple years ago, she averaged eight points, three rebounds, five assists, also three steals per game. Chris Molly back into the game. Chris Molly has one point. She replaces Allie McDonald. Winsky drops in both free throws. So the Ramblers hanging tough. Again down by six. Loyal's picking him up full court, man. Gibbons. Here's Carla Main off the aisles. And Nasser called for traveling. A year ago, the Ramblers opened up with a victory in their season opener. And they beat the Lola Marymount Lions 86 to 76. That's your area, right? Out west. Oh, yes. Moraga is a beautiful place, but I don't think they're going to do too much sightseeing while they're out there. I think they're ready to play some basketball. Oh, for three. Nope. And the rebound to Maya Britt. There's Isles. Lee pass to Maine. And through the hands of Nasser out of bounds the Ramblers. Good job by Jurowitz there. She got her hand in the way and made it just really a tip-off from um, the, the, the Colgate team. Nowinski to work it out. Pressured by Chris Molly. Nowinski pounds the dribble. Nearly got tripped up. Shovels inside to Jurowicz. She got bumped from behind. Leanne Nasser with the push. That's the seventh team foul. One-in-one -one situation. 
a good cut by Jerwood. She saw her, her senior point guard was in trouble. She cuts down the lane, gives her a passing lane, and Colgate makes a hard foul. Jerowitz from Deerfield. Last year, 73% from the foul line, averaging 4.3 rebounds per game. She shot 45% from the field. This her 54th Loyola game over the years. Four now for Jerowitz, and the lead is four for the Red Raiders. Again, Loyola picks up full. Isles in the backcourt. Ahead to Nassau. Isles. Chris Molly in the corner. There's Maine. Ten on the shot clock. Chris Molly running the baseline. Has it low left. Long jump shot by Maine, kicks in and out. Rebound to Nasser. Chris Molly shoots good in a foul. Kara Chris Molly hits her first field goal. Another look as Colgate kept the ball alive. That was a good dish by the uh, post player. She saw Chris Molly cutting in the lane, dish it off. We were just loyal, just a little slow getting there. Chris Molly's free throw is in, so a three-point play. She has five, and it's 22 to 15. Katie Winsky speeds ahead. Laurel Wolf. There's Babbitt, and she travels. Stephanie, we talked about the ABL, which airs on Sports Channel tomorrow night. That pro league, how much is it helps women's basketball at the collegiate level? Oh, the ABL is is definitely feeding from the top top seniors and and uh, players who reached really the height. We're trying to get um, more players to stay in the United States, and the ABL in the uh, next year's WNBA is going to showcase some of the top players really in women's basketball. 22-15, our score here. Chris Molly with 10 to shoot. She will and knock down a big jump shot. The two-pointer by Kara Chris Molly, and it, the lead extends to nine for Colgate. Winsky. Katie Winsky inside the lane. It's around the town. Katie Winsky with her first field goal in a couple years after redshirting last season. Both teams really trying to pick up the pace, putting pressure on the ball, on the person bringing up the ball both directions. Maya Britton at the high post. And then Chris Molly. Chris Molly throws it up. Good! And a foul. Wow, an acrobatic move by Kara Chris Molly. And she got it to drop off the glass. Kara on 31 on 22. Chris Molly inside got double teamed. And somehow she flipped that one up good. Wow. I'm sure she practiced that all the time. <laughs> So Chris Molly with three quick field goals, and she'll shoot for another three-point play. 26 to 17. Now the lead is 10. Chris Molly has nine in the game. She averaged 11 last year. She had 20 last night in the game against Alpo. Laurel Wolf open from 16. Loyola's getting the shots they want. They're getting Wolf off the double pick down low. Unfortunately, Laura just couldn't make that shot last time. Carla Maine long with the shot. And Winsky will walk it up for the Ramblers. A 10-point Colgate lead coming up in the four-minute mark for the first half. At halftime, we'll head back to the Sports Channel Report Studios to get another update with DJ. Chris Molly pulls up. Here's Weeks. Inside Nasser. Leanne Nasser has eight in the game. 12 for the Red Raiders. The Ramblers need a hoop this trip. Cut into this Colgate run. Jurowitz inside. Off control. Chris Molly has it. Doyle really needs a defensive stop right now. They can't let this lead get too big. 
There's a feed off the foot of Gerlich. Wenski two on one with Gaudio. There's Gaudio. She shot it short. Chris Molly goes down hard to hell ball. It'll be Colgate basketball when we come back. A timeout and on the floor, 317 to go. Half number one is Colgate 29 and Loyola 17. Extra shot, iced, half decaf grande, half skim. Vanilla. You want a what? A Tosca latte every day. Is it the coffee that has you hooked, or do you just want to be hit? I can't drink anything else. Everyone seems to be hooked on Starbucks, but how much do you really know? Channel 2 News brews up the facts. Find out how many calories are in your Frappuccino. What about caffeine? How much are you paying for the Starbucks name? And what's their plan to keep you coming back? Coffee is part of my life. Everything you wanted to know about Starbucks. Tonight on Channel 2 News at 10. Introducing the new sports section of the Chicago Tribune. It's the in-your-face, no holds barred, take no prisoners, show no mercy, tell it like it is, on the glass edge of your seat. This could be wild, extreme, close up. Now I've seen everything. You ain't seen nothing yet. You gotta see. You gotta be crazy. Why didn't I think of that? Heart stopping, gut wrenching. You want intense? So certain with intense. It's back right back way. It's gone. Got a sports section. Pick up the new sports section of the Chicago Tribune. When you played the Bulls, who did you have to guard? Uh, I did have to cover Michael one one game. Oh, they had to be ugly. Oh, uh, he was. I killed him. Well, basically, um, I didn't choose for my hair to be bald. It just left me once upon a time ago. <laughs> Wait a minute now. Things that you can't change and you can't, you know, you have no control over. Hey, don't worry about it. Just do what you do best and uh, focus on it. Mark Pinsky with Stephanie Rivera. Those are some of the best seats in the house, and they have an opportunity from those seats to do the Macarena dance, I'm sure you and Ron do, on a nightly basis. Oh, yes, we practice that all the time at home. <laughs> Joy Buchanan into the game now for Colgate. They've used a lot of players. I think what Colgate's trying to do is to really put the defensive pressure. They've kept as many people as they can on Laura Wolf and, and rotating on... Uh, and Katie Winsky trying to keep the pressure on. Colgate, as you saw, shooting around 50%. Ramblers have six field goals, one by Winsky, three by Wolf, one by Johansson, one by Gerlitz. Jen Richley at the foul line. And Shimona Keel comes on for Loyola. Keel, a junior, 5'10 forward from Whitney Young High School. She made the public league all-star team. And it's tapped out for the box stop by Shimona Keel. 29-17, 301 to go. Big collision near midcourt. Chris Molly went down hard. Now three bodies on the deck. And another hell ball. Out of bounds here to Loyola. Winsky has four steals already for Loyola. A couple years ago, she averaged about three a game. Here's Katie for Loyola. Winsky off to Richard. She got bumped from behind. Foul called on Jen Critchley, the junior from Chatham, New Jersey. The men's team heads to New Jersey to take on St. Peter's Tuesday, the women's team in time. Friday, November 29th, they're at St. Mary's, California for the St. Mary's Tournament. And then on the 30th, they'll play either Idaho or New Mexico. Loyola really taking advantage of the um, free throw lane. I mean, they're getting those free throws and they're putting them down. Richards out of Dalton, missing a second. And a lane violation has been called against Colgate. So Nicole will get a third opportunity now. She shot 59% from the free throw line last year. 29-19. Full court press here. Carlo Main in the front court. Here's Weeks back to Maine. 
Loyola's fallen back into the zone. Two, three defensively. Long jump shot off the mark by Kelsey Weeks. The lead pass for Gaudio. Vanessa in the lane. She got hammered. Foul on Carlo Main and Vanessa will shoot a couple. The play started with a good outlet pass. Pushed up, Babbage gets it to Gaudio. She's got the one-on-one -on -one move, forces the foul. Laurel Wolf getting set to come back in for the Ramblers. First a 20-second timeout taken by Colgate. Some folks from this area may not be familiar with the Red Raiders in their program. Uh, the athletic director is Mark Murphy, a guy who used to play for the Washington Redskins. Their basketball team now from Hamilton, New York, now on the map. They've got a star player in Adonel Foyle. Also a big weekend for their football team today. They played Bucknell for the Patriot League title. And their volleyball team is playing a play-in game. The winner goes to the NCAA tournament. Ron Roan in his second year they were 12 up 17 down last year and they advanced to the Patriot League finals a year ago before losing to Holy Cross here's Gaudio Gaudio out of Palatine High School the second all-time leading scorer in school history there Loyola is definitely chipping away at this lead by getting those free throws right, by going hard to the basket and picking up some fouls. An eight-point game, and Loyola with a zone trap. And it's out of bounds. Turned over by Carl Lemayne. Great pressure by Peter Rogers Ball Club. He definitely is trying to get something going by putting full-court pressure, get some turnovers, get this momentum going toward Loyola. Shimona Keel from the perimeter. Gaudio, the rebound, she powers up, missing inside. Gets it again. Nope. L ball, Keel ties up Maya Britt. And it's out of bounds to Colgate. Now the pressure has been put off. Loyola drops back into a 2 3 zone. It seems Stephanie as though the zone has been more effective than the man to man. I definitely think they they might have caught Colgate off balance putting the zone on. Jump shot good by Jen Critchley. So Critchley off the bench for her first two. And that's a 10-point lead again for Colgate. Richard baseline right. Long jump shot by Gaudio is in. Vanessa Gaudio, who scored 27 points a year ago, has four thus far. And it's an eight-point lead for Colgate. Chris Lally hits the silencer. Colgate saw that Loyola had a little bit of confusion on their defensive set, took advantage of it. Chris Molly, the jump shot, she has 11 to lead everybody in scoring. There's Wolf for three, nope. And tapped out. Last touch by the Ramblers, it'll be Colgate basketball. Here, Rogers has a young staff. Natalie Perino, great player at the Paul on the staff, as is Jasmine Strange, good player out of UIC. Jill Ward, another assistant coach for Loyola. Long jump shot, no good. They missed by Maine. Out of bounds. In fact, Natalie played on your basketball team last year, the Chicago Twisters, which you coached. I think Natalie's going to be able to instill her hard, aggressive work ethic on Loyola players. That's what she's here to show them, that you got to work hard and good things happen. There's Winsky. They will wipe out the basket. Unfortunately, this is not professional women's basketball here. You don't get that extra step to the hoop. Winsky was hoping for continuation here as she took weeks off the dribble. Oh, she definitely caught her up in the air, and that's always going to be a foul. Oh, and they're actually calling that before the shot, right. so. There's Natalie on the Loyola bench, former player at DePaul. Jasmine Strange as well. She played her basketball at UIC.
Winsky's free throw. Katie now 4 of 4 from the foul line. She has six in the game. 33-25. Chris Molly. And now And it'll be out of bounds here to Loyola. An eight-point game, 16.7 seconds remaining. First half, no shot clock involved here. Loyola can play for one. You see the game clock on your screen. Winsky penetrates. Five seconds left. Lead pass for Chris Molly. Two seconds. She'll shoot no good as the half expires. Wow. Chris Molly blew the easy layup. And we played one half of basketball. Loyola hanging tough. They trail by eight at the intermission. We're at the break. It's 33-25. Colgate leading the Ramblers by eight here at halftime. Just a little piece of paper. But this card from the Boys and Girls Clubs has kept millions of young people off drugs, out of gangs, and in school. A little piece of paper. Only a little piece of paper. It tells every kid who carries it that someone cares about how they grow up and what they do with their lives. Every day, another 300 kids will join the club. That's 300 kids who will be picking up a membership card instead of a gun or a needle or a knife. It's amazing, isn't it? Even still, there are thousands more children who need our help. You know, too many people feel like they can't make a difference, but I'm telling you this. Put this card in the hands of a child, and you will change that child's life. Do that, and you can change the world. It's up to us. Support a program that works. The Boys and Girls Clubs, the positive place for kids. <laughs> City, man. This is the time and the place to be alive, isn't it? You know, yesterday I met a little boy that was eight years old. And I thought for this little guy that the Chicago Bulls has always been the best team in the world. Lucky kid. Lucky us. Coverage begins Monday night at 9 on Sports Channel. The game isn't over until we say it is. This is Joe Gentile, the Baron of Barrington, from Joe Gentile's Chrysler Plymouth. Wouldn't you like to have a wonderful experience buying a new car? Well, you can have that buying experience at Joe Gentile's. We'll give you top dollar for your trade-in, tell you exactly what you're paying, and get you the best possible interest rate. You'll also find the best service with free service loaners. Come out and see me personally, Joe Gentile, with a dealer who has been in business for over 40 years. Call me at 381-7500. All right, back live at the Joe Gentile Center. This is the second game of our twin bill here on Sports Channel. Earlier today, Loyola knocked off Eastern Kentucky by 3, 66 to 63. Right here, as you see, Colgate on top of the Ramblers by 8 points, 33 to 25. Mark Pinsky alongside Stephanie Revere. And you mentioned Stephanie, free throws keeping Loyola alive. Unofficially, they're 10 of 11 from the foul line this afternoon. That's really been their best offensive play right now. They've been getting the dribble penetration or the hard move to the basket, and they've been nearly perfect in the line. Loyola led by Laurel Wolf. She has seven. You mentioned before that the Ramblers are trying to get Wolf involved with the offense, trying to set screens and even double picks for her. Oh, definitely. They're working a lot of plays to get Laura open, but they're also, the other team, Colgate, is really working a lot of different players to guard her. So they're making her work pretty hard. She's had some shots wine open that I know she wants back. Well, with offense also has stepped up after the opening five, six, seven minutes of the game. They seem to have settled down a bit and really getting used to the atmosphere has been a factor for them. I think maybe the first game jitters, 
and um, home opener, all those things come into play, whether you want to admit it or not, it does. And I think when they started putting a lot more pressure, putting the uh, full court press on, it got them to settle in and to get a couple of turnovers. It seemed also as if, you mentioned the full court, but also the half court defense, when they changed from player to player to zone, that seemed to have helped them as well. I think they had a few opportunities where they caught Colgate off guard, and they definitely had uh, had their, their zone in place and created some turnovers. All right, we'll take a timeout, then come back and hear from Katie Winsky, the interview I did with Katie earlier this week. Colgate on top of Loyola uh, by eight. We're at halftime, 33-25, your score. Last year, almost one million people experienced it. They gathered to bear witness, driven by passion. They came together under a banner that united them all. Some might call it religion. We call it Black Hawk Hockey. Right now, we're looking for converts. Season ticket plans with seats starting at $15 are now available. Call 312-943-7000 today. We're overstocked on Wilmot Up Police Cars. We have over 200 specially equipped vehicles in stock. So we're making these cars available to the public at great low prices. These hard-to-find luminous come standard with Recaro bucket seats, power windows, air conditioning, four-wheel anti-lock disc brakes, heavy-duty suspension, and much, much more. These vehicles start at this low price. At Salozzi Edelson Chevrolet in Elmhurst at York and Roosevelt Roads, where you always save more money. Extra shot, iced, half decaf, grande, half skim. Vanilla. You want a what? A Tuscan latte every day. Is it the coffee that has you hooked, or do you just want to be hit? I can't drink anything else. Everyone seems to be hooked on Starbucks, but how much do you really know? Channel 2 News brews up the facts. Find out how many calories are in your Frappuccino. What about caffeine? How much are you paying for the Starbucks name? And what's their plan to keep you coming back? Coffee's part of my life. Everything you wanted to know about Starbucks. Tonight on Channel 2 News at 10. Hi everybody, I'm Ken Brett, your host right here on Sports Fair TV, and I'm going to give you a partial list of some of the products we're going to be showing you next week on the show. We have the abs by Healthrider. Everybody trying to get their stomachs in shape, this is a great way to do it. Also, Jebco University Clocks. Some of the universities we're going to be featuring, Tennessee, Miami, Michigan, Ohio State, what a football team those Buckeyes have this year. Check your local listings for times right here on Sports Channel. Whitney, the Wonder Dog, entertaining this crowd here. We're at halftime at 33 to 25. Colgate on top of Loyola. Earlier, earlier this week, I sat down with Katie Winsky. Katie, a year ago, broke a cheekbone. I talked to Katie about that injury. Um, it happened, fortunately for me, in the sixth game of the year, which still allowed me to still redshirt. Um, I was playing a zone. I got collided with some other girl's elbow, and I broke the right cheekbone. Um, it required emergency surgery two days later, so I was out for the rest of the season because I couldn't have any contact whatsoever. Um, it was tough at first, but I was able to use it as motivation, knowing that I'd have my last year back and it wasn't, you know, left to go or whatever. So I really used that to come back hard this summer and get ready to play. How difficult was it for you to be a cheerleader, be an assistant coach, to watch from the bench? It was really difficult, but I was really fortunate to have my close friends on the team. You know, I had Claire and Erica and Laura and Nicole and everyone. They really pulled me through. They really helped me get keep going. And actually, I used it more of a learning thing because I got to see what people were doing wrong on the court, and I was able to use that to my benefit. How difficult is it for this team to lose somebody like Claire Malloy, who you happen to see in the preseason in an exhibition game? Where do you get the offense from now? Um, I think that's a big, um, we have a lot of juniors, and they need to step up this year, and they're doing so far. Laura is an incredible shooter, an incredible player out there. She will definitely have to take over a lot of the points, which she wasn't able to last year because she had to run the point guard. So I think having her back out there score would be huge. Nicole and Erica, they need to step up real big as myself, but we need to come bring up some points from the three of us. Since you've been here, Katie, you've had kind of a revolving door in terms of coaches. What does Keir bring to the table, and how much has he helped your team? He brings a lot of energy. You know, we're able to just focus on basketball. He's very good at fundamentals and instilling those fundamentals in us. And his staff is incredible. They're very intense and very focused, and they bring that energy to us. It, we almost feed off it. It's almost contagious. We get us very excited to go out and play each game. We're more competitive, I think, because of them. For you personally, it may be a fortunate thing that you had to redshirt because now you get to play at the Gentile Center. Right. Oh, it's been great. I couldn't ask for more. At first, you know, I thought it was kind of a 
a sad thing that I'd be able to sit out last year, but after seeing this gym, be able to play here and be back playing with the girls, it's just great. I couldn't ask for more. Basically what I've heard from everybody is the fact that this gives them a feel of big time college basketball. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, I loved alumni. It was such a great home court advantage, but this is incredible coming out to play in this. It's the best feeling in the world to run out, and it's such a classy building. It's unbelievable. What are some of your goals this year? Kier talked about how last year, at times, perhaps the team was intimidated playing against Green Bay or Detroit. How good can Loyola be this season? We can be very tough. I think we're under underestimated a lot in a lot of other teams' eyes. We can come out and we can scare a lot of players. I think we're much more aggressive and much more intense on our defense, and I think that'll make us produce a lot of points that way. So I'm really looking forward to moving up in the rankings in the okay. conference. I was reading your uh, bio, and I think you are on a roll, everything. I mean, you, uh, you are really the epitome of a student athlete. You know, it's hard at first. You know, coming in freshman year, you're not really sure how to study, how to take notes, but Loyola does a really good job of preparing their athletes to, you know, make it through the, in the four years and everything. So I've been really fortunate just because of the school I was at and the teachers I've had. So that's kind of carried over in basketball as well. Coming from Hoffman Estates, it's got to be nice for you to play here in Chicago. You're close to home. Your parents can come out and see you all the time. Yeah, that's one of the biggest reasons why I chose coming to Loyola because I do like my having my family here and my friends and my brothers and sisters. They can, they can come out and watch me play all the time, and it's really big boost to see them out there watching me when things start going rough. All right, that was Katie Winsky. She has six thus far. Loyola trails by eight. We'll take a timeout, then come back and look at the first half highlights. It's Colgate 33 and Loyola 25. This Thanksgiving, your Dodge dealer has prepared some very special things, like a tempting $1,000 cash back or 1.9 financing on Dodge Neon. $1,000 cash back or 1.9 financing on Dodge Stratus. Or help yourself to package value discounts up to $14.57 on Dodge Ram. But hurry, because this Thanksgiving, there might not be any leftovers. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. seven days a week with over 40 lighted, covered, heated tees. A PGA teaching professional on staff. A sports bar and grill. And an all-season discount pro shop with a full line of demonstration clubs. White Mountain Recreation Center, 179th and Route 45 in Tinley Park. 708-478-GOLF. There's no better place to be, and there's no better place to turn than the Home Shopping Network for an outstanding selection of what's fashionable and innovative for the rooms where you unwind, share your dreams, and breathe a little easier. No matter what your taste, the Home Shopping Network has the latest ideas and products that will work beautifully for your lifestyle. The Home Shopping Network. Come on in. We have what you need to feel right at home. of Loyola 33 to 25 here in the first half. Mark Pinsky alongside Stephanie Rivera. The Ramblers thus far shooting 7 of 30 from the field. They're at 23%. That's not going to win you many ball games. They definitely have to get, the, get going on the floor. They're saving themselves by hitting the free throws. They definitely have got to get their, their game on the floor going. All right, let's check out the first half highlights right now and early on. Weeks finding Maine, and she hits a long jump shot for the Red Raiders. Yeah, Maine was hot in the very beginning. She got their team going. Later, Winsky penetrates. The Jerowitz hits the jump shot. She has four points off the bench. That's perfect. Dribble penetration by your point guard. Dish it off to your center. Laura Wolf, meantime, has one three. Here it is. She has seven so far. We definitely need to get Laura Wolf in the game more. Later on, the shot of the game, Kara Chris Molly scoops it in. She has 11 thus far. That's definitely one for the old highlight film. 
All right, first half numbers look like this. The Ramblers, as I mentioned, 7 of 30 from the field. Colgate at 46%. Lola perfect from the foul line, 10 out of 10. Turnovers, Colgate with 12. The Ramblers have 8. And steals 6-5. Colgate leading that category. So we're at halftime. It's 33 to 25. Colgate up by 8. We'll take a timeout, then come back for second half activity. Steve Young for Power Bar. Who hasn't eaten a candy bar at the movies? When you're sitting back watching a movie, a candy bar's fine. But life isn't one big movie. That's why there's Power Bar Energy Bars. They're low in fat, made from healthy foods, packed with nutrients, and deliver lots of complex carbs for sustained energy. So if you want to be ready for the challenges of life, rely on a Power Bar Energy Bar. It's real energy for the real world. Introducing the new sports section of the Chicago Tribune. It's the in-your-face, no holds barred, take no prisoners, show no mercy, tell it like it is, on the glass edge of your seat. This could be wild, extreme, close up. Now I've seen everything. You ain't seen nothing yet. This has got to see. you got to be crazy. Why didn't I think of that? Heart-stopping, gut-wrenching. You want intense? I'll serve you intense. It's back, back, way, it's gone! Kind of the sports section. Pick up the new sports section of the Chicago Tribune. Just a little piece of paper. But this card from the Boys and Girls Clubs has kept millions of young people off drugs, out of gangs, and in school. It's only a little piece of paper. It tells every kid who carries it that someone cares about what they do with their lives. You know, every day another 300 kids join the club, but there are thousands more who need help. Find out how you can put this card in the hands of a child and change that child's life. It's up to us. Support the Boys and Girls Clubs. Johnny, why is everybody so excited at Oak Brook Toyota in Westmont? We just got back in a test drive in a brand new Camry. Wow, it's quite a car. Really? And Johnny, who has the largest selection of these brand new Toyota Camrys? Oak Brook Toyota in Westmont, the largest and most modern facility in Chicagoland. That's who. There's only one, Bob Roman. Come experience the difference at Bob Roman's Oak Brook Toyota in Westmont, four blocks west of Route 83 on Ogden Avenue. We're all set now for the start of the second half. Colgate leading by eight points, 33 to 25. And Stephanie, the Ramblers are getting out-rebounded by five, 22 to 17. But the key stat probably, Loyola one for seven from the arc. Loyola really uses a three-point shot as, as an important part of their offense. And it's Johansson from the outside missing. Chris Molly has it for Colgate. I'm sure both teams would like to shoot better from the beyond the arc. Loyola starting its first five. Winsky, Wolf, Gaudio, Richards, and Johansson. Piles off the main. She travels. So a turnover by Colgate. And the Ramblers have it. It's the offensive foul, huh? Actually, they were sending a, a pick down low, and they uh, called it a moving pick is what we got. 33-25, the Ramblers trying to cut into this eight-point Colgate lead. Katie Winsky, who earlier I said was from Maine West, actually Hoffman Estates, I should have said. So Optimus, Colgate has possession, a chance to increase their lead to 10 with a two. Chris Miley in the lane. And Richard has it for the Ramblers. Winsky on the push. Richards, top of the key. Here's Gaudio working left side. Off to Richards. She couldn't handle the pass. Maya Britt. And now Piles, who's from Palos Heights. Chris Molly for three. It was hard. Long rebound. And Wolf has it. Two on three. Wolf lost control as Chris Molly picked her pocket. Winsky, Loyola back in a man. Chris Molly, off to Gibbons. There's Chris Molly, 10 on the shot clock. Carla Main. Gibbons open, a long two is good. 
Colgate. Colgate did a really nice job of being patient, running their offense, and working to get the best open shot. The Gibbons, they're their fourth leading scorer last year, third leading rebound last year as well, has four in the game. They now is a foul against the Red Raiders. That was a nice post-up move. Bone got to the high post. He saw Johansson cut inside the lane. Chris Miley picks up the foul here. There's the ball on the high post. She posts up. She gets hacked on the way up. And Johansson from the outside. Chris Miley clears. Up the floor to Isles. Isles at the point. Here's Gibbons. Johansson comes out to play her. 15 to shoot. Whistle off the ball. Another offensive foul against Colgate. This time it's on Carla Main. Yeah, Colgate's having a tough time setting those picks without fouling. Third team foul. Kona Keel, who redshirted during the 94-95 season because of a knee comes on. Last year she scored 36 points, also had 36 rebounds. A 10-point lead for Colgate. That was a Richard. great entry pass by Winsky. Unfortunately, your teammate couldn't put it down. Miles off the main. There's Gibbons. Nice oh, steal. And Nicole Richards the steal. Winsky, lead pass. And Laurel Wolf couldn't hang on. Loyal is definitely trying to make something happen, pushing the ball up the floor. In the meantime, Colgate calls a set play of this trip. Look for Chris Miley, there she is. Inside, she scores. They got all the action going away. They set a double low pick, and Chris Miley makes the easy layup. Chris Miley set up the back screen and was wide open inside. There's Gaudio losing control. And on the run, Carla Main. Main to Chris Molly for two. 39 to 25, a six nothing run to open up the second half. I think Coach Rogers is gonna call a timeout right here. 20 second timeout taken uh, by Loyola. And here Rogers wants to talk it over. Kara Chris Molly has four points in this half. And on the run, Carla Main set it up. Main just kind of froze Katie Winsky with a two on one. And Chris Molly from Guilford, Connecticut. She was the second leading scorer last year. Also second team all Patriot League. Last season. She's been the difference so far with 15 points. Loyola led by Laurel Wolf with seven. Katie has six. I think Coach Rogers used that timeout to really talk to his players and say, hey, let's get this thing going. We can't let this thing get away from us right now. Laurel Wolf has it in play. Ramblers down by 14. This is a big possession. Shimona Keel in the lane. Shot it hard off the glass. Got her feet tangled up with a Patriot player. A Raider player, I should say, from the Patriot League. I wouldn't be surprised if they ran that same play, trying to get Chris Maley open again. Miles pressured by Winsky. Here's Chris Molly. Open from 16, way off the mark. A wolf, three on three. Wolf right side pulls up and hits. in a game against Wright State. She dumped in 29 points. That was her high. We've got Loyola in his zone again now. Miles on the wing now for Maya Britt. Chris Molly fakes. Turnaround shot by Gibbons is in. She has six. And Megan Gibbons scoring to give Colgate a 14-point lead. Five minutes gone, second half. Winsky stolen away. And Shimona Keel reaching in wisely. 
broke it up, but hold on a second. First, they got a foul on Chris Follett. So late whistle by the official, but perhaps the right call. An official timeout will be taken. Colgate on top, 41 to 27 with 14.57 remaining. And a timeout on the floor. Tonight on the Sports Channel Report, Jim Blaney and Doug Buffone preview the Bears-Lions game at Soldier Field on Sunday. Lou Holtz coaches his last game in South Bend. Plus, the Bulls hope to make the Utah Jazz their latest victim on the way to a perfect record. The Bulls in Tinseltown. Only the stars come out at night. Catch the Bulls and Clippers. And after the game, you'll go live in the locker room. Coverage begins Monday night at 9, and it's not over until we say it is. Extra shot, iced, half decaf grande, half skim. Vanilla. You want a what? A Tosca Mate every day. Is it the coffee that has you hooked, or do you just want to be hit? I can't drink anything else. Everyone seems to be hooked on Starbucks, but how much do you really know? Channel 2 News brews up the facts. Find out how many calories are in your frappuccino. What about caffeine? How much are you paying for the Starbucks name? And what's their plan to keep you coming back? Coffee's part of my life. Everything you wanted to know about Starbucks. Tonight on Channel 2 News at 10. When you played the Bulls, who did you have to cover? Uh, I did have to cover Michael one, one game. Oh, that had to be ugly. Oh, uh, he was. I killed him. Well, basically, um, I didn't choose for my hair to be bald. It just left me once upon a time ago. <laughs> Wait a minute now. Things that you can't change and you can't, you know, you have no control over. Hey, don't worry about it. Just do what you do best and uh, focus on that. Our next Bulls game on Sports Channel Monday night. Live coverage begins at 9 o'clock with a pregame show game time. Cash and Norm followed by the Bulls and Clippers tip-off set for 9.30. Tom Doran, Red Kerr with a play-by-play -play Monday. Bulls and Clippers. 41-27 here. Colgate with the lead. Christy Cleveland, number 31, on the move. An offensive foul called on Cleveland. Christy, a freshman from Chesterton, Indiana. She was All-State in high school. A three-year varsity performer. Another look, Stephanie, at the charge. She did a great job going to the hoop, but she should have seen that guard pull up and uh, take a great charge. Colgate has outscored Loyola 8-4. to four. It is half. And they lead by 14 points. Rambler's in a zone. It appears to be a 1-2-2 two, two zone. Big side board, Chris Molly. The jump hook is good. Chris Molly now with 17-6 this half. The lead 16 for the Red Raiders. Christy Cleveland off the wing. She, she launches a three, wouldn't go. And Carla Maine runs it down. Here's Maine. Going away by Winsky. She's got Laura Wolf with her. Winsky fouled. And she'll shoot a couple. Winsky does a great job going hard to the basket. She did have Laura, but I think she also saw. I think she saw she had. She had the lane. She had the angle. And the only thing the girl could do was really foul her. Carla Maine picks up her third foul. She'll come out and then be replaced by Katie Murphy, the sophomore from the Bronx. Coming out of high school, she was the Spelman High School Athlete of the Year. Free throw by Winsky. Nope. Katie now 4 of 5 from the foul line. Keir Rogers, who after playing at Loyola, spent time overseas playing professionally in France as well as Greece. Six minutes gone, 43-27 Colgate. Chris Molly on the wing. Nearly double dribble. Weeks barking on instructions. Chris Molly baseline. 10 to shoot. Loyola's in a matchup zone. Chris Molly, the long jump shot. Nope. Maya Britt couldn't keep it alive, and it's out of bounds to Loyola ball. Wolf did a good job of knocking that ball off of Colgate's hands. 
In the meantime, Iran Rohn takes a 20 second timeout. We'll stay here. 43 27 and 13 37 remaining. I think Coach Rohn's definitely going to go over how to exploit Loyola's zone right now. We'll see if Coach Rogers stays in the zone or goes back to man. We talked before about how Colgate played last night against Valpo, but I would think perhaps it may actually be an advantage because you got one game under your belt already. And you come in here today after sleeping in Chicago last night. Obviously, Valpo not too far from here. Yeah, I think if they had any trouble, it might have been a little jet lag getting to Valpo. But I think Colgate's showing that they're a pretty good team and that they uh, really have no effects of any kind of jet lag. Laurel connecting on a long jump shot. Wolf now with 12. That'll help the Rambler 22% field goal percentage. Long shot missed by Murphy. Weeks keeps it alive and then throws it through the hands of Gibbons, but they say it'll be Colgate ball. Chris Miley on the baseline. There's Gibbons. Back to Chris Miley. Seven minutes gone. Shot clock now at 15. Ten to shoot. Weeks at the timeline. Five to shoot. Chris Miley forces up a tough shot. And Laurel Wolf has it. And Nowinski. Katie on the move. Over the top. Cleveland makes the catch. And couldn't finish. Chris Miley then slows in the backcourt. A really good opportunity to, to make a good bucket there on a fast break opportunity. They're letting chances slip away. Here's Chris Molly on the baseline. Weeks a long three. Kicks around and down. Wow, that's an NBA three. I think she needed to call backboard on that one too. <laughs> backboard twice. 46 to 30 now. Colgate up by 16. Whoa. From 18. Gets it back. Whips it right side for Cleveland. Richards, they say she was standing out of bounds when she tried to keep her alive. And Tara Babbage will come on. 46 to 30, we'll take a break. 11.51 to go in the second half. The Ramblers down by 16. This is Joe Gentile, the Baron of Barrington, from Joe Gentile's Chrysler Plymouth. Wouldn't you like to have a wonderful experience buying a new car? Well, you can have that buying experience at Joe Gentile's. We'll give you top dollar for your trade-in, tell you exactly what you're paying, and get you the best possible interest rates. You'll also find the best service with free service loaners. Come out and see me personally, Joe Gentile, with a dealer who has been in business for over 40 years. Call me at 381-7500. Steve Young for Power Bar. Who hasn't eaten a candy bar at the movies? When you're sitting back watching a movie, a candy bar's fine. But life isn't one big movie. That's why there's Power Bar Energy Bars. They're low in fat, made from healthy foods, packed with nutrients, and deliver lots of complex carbs for sustained energy. So if you want to be ready for the challenges of life, rely on a Power Bar Energy Bar. It's real energy for the real world. For them, 46 to 30, Colgate a 16-point lead. Mark Pinsky alongside Stephanie Rivera, the coach from Trinity International in Deerfield. A 
I bet you don't know this, Stephanie, but they used to have a bubble there at Trinity College where they played ice hockey. When I was a kid growing up, I played outside before the bubble was put in place. I do remember seeing that bubble out there. It's long gone now, though. A 16-point game. There's Wolf with the follow-away. Oh, nice shot. Laura Wolf now with 14, seven this half. Laura had it in her mind. As soon as she's going to catch that ball, she was shooting. Danielle Piles comes in. Wolf with the long jump shot right here. She just caught it and fired. It was a classic stop and pop. 46-32, nine minutes gone, second half. So it's going back to a man. Lewinsky got hit in the face. Let's hope she's okay. Gibbons inside scores. Megan Gibbons has eight. And all right now, Katie making sure she's got all her teeth. Unfortunately, in those situations, you always wonder why they didn't stop play, but they can't stop play until it's a dead ball. So if there's a turnover or ball goes out of bounds or baskets made, they can't stop the play. So Katie going to stay out there. Remember last year, she suffered a broken cheekbone. Here she got popped in the mouth. 48-32 the count. Lewinsky, nice crossover move. Through the hands of Richards, though, and out of bounds. I know Richards wants that one back. They set that play up perfectly. Richards should have had it. Easy bucket. 48-32, Colgate basketball. They're up by 16. Gibbons, right of the lane. Murphy. Here's Isles, and she throws it away. Intended for Maya Brent. In the meantime, Rhonda Yoakum comes on. Yoakum from South Holland, Seton Academy, 5'8 freshman. She was named the South Town Economist High School Player of the Year. And Burmeister, actually, here Rogers, I should say, has a young squad. Burmeister actually has a fairly veteran team. Richard called with a push there. She's trying to have sell, set that low pick and got caught pushing. Winsky picks up the ball. Katie's still feeling around her mouth, making sure one of those teeth aren't loose. Good defense by Jurowitz to break it up. And 10 to play. Wolf in the lane. Jura with the open shot. Got it. Jura with a great job of finding that open spot, soft spot in the zone. 40 to 34. Make that 48 to 34. Turnaround shot wouldn't go. Part of the problem I'm having is that one of the scoreboards is missing a few light bulbs. <laughs> Wolf off to the right. And now Richards back to Wolf from 18. Nope. And Chris Molly boxes out and corrals the rebound. Now she flies ahead. Chris Molly stopped right elbow. She got bumped on the play by Laura Wolf. Erica Johansson will come in, and Nicole Richards comes out. Johansson so far has two points in the game. Out of Rockford Boylan High School. Gibbons, the long shot wouldn't go, and it's out of bounds to Loyola. This is going to be a key possession for Loyola. They've got another shooter inside now. They really want to get knock off some of these um, this lead. So they're going to want to definitely get a score out of this possession. Easy here. Down by 14 points. 
And this trip fairly critical for Loyola. Wolf inside for Jurowitz. Turns and shoots, wouldn't go. Johansson deflects it out. Palos Heights. Pressured by Winsky. Gibbons left wing. Tap by Wolf. And out of bounds. They say Loyola well, basketball. So the Ramblers get it, trying to cut into this 14 point Colgate lead. right side for Winsky. Katie and a blocking foul call. Big time collision there. Play started with Laura knowing that that ball wasn't going to go in. She followed her shot, gets the rebound, sees an open Winsky, and Winsky sees the hole and goes hard to the bucket. The substitution now as Kelsey Weeks comes on. She replaces Danielle Isles. Isles, perhaps the best defensive player on their team. Here's Winsky to shoot a couple. Katie, so far, four out of six from the foul line. Now five for seven. She has seven points in the game. Loyola needs a stop. 48 to 36, still lots of time left. Carla Main off to Weeks. Chris Molly, three point range. Inside and a foul called. It's on Jurowitz. Jurowitz was working to get over the high side. Unfortunately, she got called for the foul while trying to stop that. All right, we have a timeout now on the floor. 7.51 remaining here in the second half. Colgate leading the Ramblers by 12. Introducing the new sports section of the Chicago Tribune. It's the in-your-face, no holds part. Take no prisoners, show no mercy. Tell it like it is on the glass edge of your seat. This could be wild. Extreme close-up. Now I've seen everything. You ain't seen nothing yet. This you gotta see. You gotta be crazy. Why didn't I think of that? Heart-stopping, gut-wrenching. You want intense? I'll serve you intense. It's back, back, way. It's gone! Got a sports section. Pick up the new sports section of the Chicago Big scene. Capsule splashes down. You pull Hanks to safety. Okay? Stroke. Stroke. More passion. Grab Hanks tight. But not too tight, because we don't want to hurt Tom. He's a big star, after all. Gently, gently. I've just come back from space. This is a big scene. You get to shine. You'd be surprised by everything we're doing to bring you your favorite movies. Continental Cablevision. Lift off. We work, you watch. PBS Destination Sunday. We take you there every Sunday night. First, it's National Geographic Explorer, the undisputed leader in wildlife filmmaking. Then, you're on Topics, the new showcase for award-winning PBS Original Special. Begin a Sunday night tradition for the whole family. PBS Destination Sunday. National Geographic Explorer, then Topics on TBS. <laughs> to Colgate. Laura Wolf so far, 6 of 18 on the field. She has 6 rebounds. Also a couple of assists. She's played 31 minutes. Katie Winsky has played 32 minutes thus far. Maya Britt missing inside. Gets it back out. When does Colgate start thinking about the clock here? Colgate's going to definitely use as much clock as they can each possession. Of course, in the women's game, a 30-second clock with no backcourt rule. Or 10-second rule, I should say. Shot clock right now at 13 seconds. They've already run off 17. 
Chris Molly wasting no time. Drains the three. She's got 20. Chris Molly. This season should go over the 1,000 career mark in terms of scoring. Wolf on the outside. And the rebound to Gibbons. And now Weeks to bring it up. 51-36. Yeah, Colgate's definitely passing up some open shots to work as much clock as they can. Maine hit the, um, the three-pointer early in the game before. I'm sure her coach said, uh, let's work a little clock before you take those shots. Shot clock at five. And Wolf got a piece of Carla Main. Leanne Nasser comes in now for Colgate. Nasser. Three of three so far from the field. Also perfect from the foul line. She's got eight of them coming in the first half. What do you think of the rims here? They're obviously brand new quarter rims. They seem a bit tight, don't they? They seem to be a bit tight, you're right, because you can hear it when they miss. It's not, uh, they're not getting the shooter's roll that you might expect. Long rebounds like we see right there. Kara Kiss Molly like the win so far. She has 20 points already. I think she's been finding bottom of the net more than any of the rim. Doesn't need the rim. Held ball. Nope. The official has a foul on Winsky. Chris Molly with 20. Laurel Wolf has 14 to lead Loyola. for Jurowitz, couple for Johansson, Nicole Richards has two free throws. So most of the scoring for the Rambles coming from the backcourt court people. The Gibbons now in double figures, she has 10. As we come up on the six minute mark, it's a 17 point game. Yeah, early in the game, uh, Loyola tried to establish the inside game to help open up the outside game. Foul called against Colgate. And that's Gibbons. One and one situation. Eighteen foul against Colgate. Both teams now in the bonus situation. Yeah, Colgate doesn't want to stop the clock with fouls. That's one thing they want to they want to avoid if they're going to maintain this lead. Lorella, if they can keep taking it to the hole, drawing some fouls, maybe some three-point plays, they still have a chance. Nicole Richards, a three-year starter. She had two double-doubles a year ago and also scored 21 points on a couple of occasions last year. Has four in the game today, 53-38. Carlo Main, the bounce pass. And Chris Lally went down hard, no foul call. Wolf one on two. The three wouldn't go, and Chris Molly has it. 5:30 remaining, a 15-point Colgate lead. Coach Roan's definitely telling his team, work the ball, work the ball. He wants to use as much clock as he can. Oftentimes, teams will set a rule you have to pass it four, five, six times, whatever. Definitely. Gibbons. With another chance for Colgate. Now Chris they're going to kick it back out because they're going to work the, they have a whole new clock when it hits that rim. A reaching foul call. Richards was there, as was Rhonda Yokim. For Keir Rogers, this is his first game as a head coach. He's got a young squad, as I mentioned. Katie Winsky, a senior. Laura Wolf, a junior. Gaudio's a sophomore. Richards, a junior. Johansson, a junior. Plus, a lot of freshmen as well. Angela Seeley from Georgetown Ridge Farm, a highly touted freshman. Glenna Favela, another freshman. She's from San Antonio, Texas. Rhonda Yokum, a freshman. Cleveland, a freshman as well. Fifth 
65 to 38. Again from here, Loyola goes to St. Mary's, California for a tournament. Where they'll take on the host school Friday, November 29th. Long jump shot, good by Tara Babbitt. She's that, a freshman. That was definitely a set play. They know they need to get a, a some quick threes. They set Babbage up for a bunch of screens and a double screen up high. Set her open. Babbage out of Resurrection High School. Her first field goal in a Loyola uniform. 55 to 41. Now a turnover. Rhonda Yoakum on the fly. Skip pass for Babbage. Inside Simona Keel. Keel with a turnaround. A whistle off the ball and a foul call. It's on Richards. Fifth foul on Richards. She leaves. With four points in the game. Loyola's definitely got to stop fouling because we put Colgate on the line. It's going to be very hard to catch up. Yeah. Four of 14 remaining. Nasser drops in both free throws. She's now four for four from the foul line this half. Gonna come in for Ron Roan Club. And Megan Gibbons, the sophomore from Northfield Mass, comes out. She had a big second half with eight points. Ten in the game. Johansson from Rockford Boylan. 78% free throw last year. Nails both here. Now a timeout will be taken. 57 to 43, 338 remaining. Colgate leading the Ramblers by 14. Arm strength, quickness, agility, and body control. The essential elements of the winning defensive baseball player. And with Coach Emanski's Defensive Drills video, you'll learn the amazing training secrets of America's finest baseball school. The Defensive Drills video features revolutionary training techniques developed by professional scout and instructor Tommy Nansky. Techniques that get results, producing baseball world's back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back AAU national championship teams and even a gold medal in international competition. In a recent review, Collegiate Baseball Magazine exclaimed, with Coach Emanski's techniques, the future of baseball is here today. Even top professional players are impressed. Just ask Major League Superstar Fred McGriff. I'm so impressed with the instructional videos by Coach Amansky that I've given them my full endorsement. When you watch them, you'll know why. The Defensive Drills video is available now for immediate shipping. It makes a great gift and benefits players of all ages and ability levels. To order, call toll-free 1-800-274-4199. That's 1-800-274-4199. Call now. I got a passion Millennia Luxury unsurpassed by Lexus I got a passion Style that sets it apart from BMW I got a passion for the road Millennia Elegance and grace captured in steel Mazda. Millennia Passion for the road Leases 
start at 309-750 down payment. Competitions in the rear view mirror. Passion for the road. All right, we're back. 57 to 43. Nice hat. 338 remaining. trying to put some full court pressure. They're not wanting to foul. They're just trying to look for some turnovers here to break this thing down. That was Danielle Isles breaking down the defense. For Loyola, you would think that down the road they're going to shoot a lot better than they have today. Their starters, Gaudio, Johansson, Richards, and Winsky combined are 3 of 22 from the field. Definitely, you have to have a better shooting percentage than that to, to get uh, some wins at this high level of basketball. Loyola, though, has played hard, and I would think Colgate's going to be one of the better teams that Loyola faces this year. This is a basketball team that should contain for the Patriot League title, so the wins will come for Loyola this season. Loyola will definitely take this game, be able to break down some of the things they need to work on. Early in the season, you're doing a lot of learning. in the backcourt. Nasser goes back to Isle. Three minutes remaining, 57-43. If you weren't around for our first game, you missed a good one. Loyola knocked off Eastern Kentucky in the men's game. And the Ramblers jumped out to a big lead, 21-3, and led at halftime 37-24. Yeah, but Eastern came back, took a lead eventually, before Loyola went on to win by Goodman, he had 18 in that game. Daniel Bush had 14. Charles Smith 12. And Derek Mollis had 10 for the Ramblers. As the men's team got off to a good start. And Stephanie, I know you were here for the tail end of that game. We had a good finish. That was a very exciting men's game. That was a great rebound right there by Johansson. Loyola's definitely got to push the ball up. I think they're going to be looking to get any kind of points they can right now. Johansson with a runner. And Chris Molly yanks it down. 2.35 to go in the inaugural women's game here at the Joe Gentile Center. Colgate trying to work the clock right here, if they can. Big collision again. And a timeout on the floor. So we'll keep it right here. With the score 57 to 43. The Red Raiders taking a timeout. Coach Roan got in one of the officials here and uh, yelled timeout. They did not want to lose that possession on the jump ball arrow. Channel. Be sure to catch the Sports Channel report. Lou Holtz and the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. They're their home finale. Steve Cash will have a report from there. Also, high school football. The semis played today. And as always, Doug Buffone will join Jim Laney in studio for Bears Nightly. Mark Pinsky alongside Stephanie Rivera. She's married to a former Bear herself in Ron Rivera. And the Bears taking on the Lions tomorrow, Stephanie. The Bears actually had a great week because they didn't have to worry about too much publicity uh, with all the uh, Notre Dame and Northwestern hype. I think they're, they quietly are getting ready to have a good game against the Lions. Doug Buffone again will have all the insight tonight. Non Bears nightly, joined by JB in the studio. The DJ will be there too, and Cash with a report from South Bend. Colgate got their ball handling uh, team in. They've got three guards. <laughs> Carla Main out there along with Weeks at guard. Chris Maley out there as well. Chris Molly, I should say, having a big game. She's got a double-double, 12 points, 20 rebounds. In fact, this year, in two games, she's averaging 20 points per game. She had 20 in the loss of Alpo, 79-63 last night. 
She definitely has a strong game. She's a very smart player. She has the ability to shoot the three or make that dribble penetration and scoop layups. to 43. There's Wolf on the wing. Off the Winsky. She launches a three. Good! And a foul. We got a possible four-point play right here. Katie Winsky, who a couple of years ago was the team MVP with a big shot. And she got hammered on the release. Laura Wolf did a good job. She penetrated, kicked the ball out. Winsky got the ball, launched it. She got hit on the block out. Winsky no good. Johansson the rebound. She muscles up a shot. Good. Johansson now with six unofficially, and the lead is 10. Loyola still hanging tough. Loose basketball picked up by Johansson. So the Ramblers trying to keep it interesting now. Score, however. The wolf left side. Off the Winsky for three. Oh, it was short. And Carla Main sprints it ahead. And Main got her pocket pick to steal by Wolf. Nobody back. Laura lays it up. No good. And a foul called on the rebound. There's no doubt in my mind Laura wants that one back. She made a great steal. And I think she just lost her legs right up from under. She went up with that layup and just had nothing there. Wolf with a nice defensive play here to, to dig it out from Carla Main. She found herself all alone here for the easy layup. But you mentioned perhaps she was tired. Just going up, she just seemed to lose a little bit and just left the ball short. So a 10-point lead for Colgate, a minute 15 remaining in the basketball game. Loyola with a bit of a run here to close within 10 points. And really, Stephanie, with the exception of the first five minutes of the game, I think the Ramblers have played Colgate even. Definitely. And I think, you know, 10 points with a three-point line is not that solid a lead. I know Coach Rohn's definitely telling his team, take care of the ball because 10 points can easily be turned around. That last play that Winsky had, it was a five-point play. She has a three-point shot. They get the rebound on the missed free throw. We get a put back. That's a five-point swing right there. What's interesting is I have that same sofa in my living room. Same exact design, same color and everything. I hope it's there when I get back. If not, I think you're going to have to move your uh, living room furniture in here. That's a possibility. Kia Rogers over there with Natalie Perino, Jasmine Strange, Jill Ward, Chris County are the trainer. A 10-point game and a minute 15 remaining. Gibbons played well in the exhibition season, scoring 23 points in those two games, missing the free throw here. 70 seconds left, a 10-point Red Raiders lead. Winsky around the screen from 15, shot it hard. Gibbons, the weak side board. I'm surprised Winsky didn't pull up for the three. They really set her up to get a shot off there. Chris Molly in the front court getting double teamed. Winsky reaches in and bumps Chris Molly. I'm sure Coach Rogers wants someone other than Winsky to be fouling at this point. Fifty-eight to forty-eight. Rogers still working for the Ramblers. Here's Chris Miley. She has twenty thus far. Laura Wolf passes for the Ramblers. Still a ten-point game. Fifty seconds remaining. Wolf with a jump shot. Round and good. Wolf now with 16, and Loyola stops the clock. So an eight-point lead, 47 seconds left, and Laura Wolf with a big second-half flurry. Here she is going one-on-one -on -one against Chris Molly. She definitely had her legs underneath her there. She gets a nice jump shot and a shooter's roll that time. Wolf and Winsky 
combined have scored 27 of the 50 Loyola points. So, Stephanie, you would think, should the Ramblers get more front court scoring, they're going to be in good shape this year. I think so. I, I don't think that uh, Laura's probably shot as well as she could have tonight. And I think if they can get that inside game going, it's definitely going to help them. 47 seconds remaining. And it's 58 to 50, as you see. Great job by our crew today. Dave Turner, our producer and director, working both games of our twin bill. I think this is a good experience for uh, Coach Rogers. And for having, Dave. Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Having, this, having to work with the strategy here at the end of the game, putting his uh, team in a situation where they're fighting back and um, asking him to do a lot of things that, you know, in the early part of the season, you don't always get a lot of chance to work on things. So now they're, they've got, a, obviously, some kind of full court press going on here. And they're going to have to foul if they can't get the ball on the initial steal. Chris Miley, your leading scorer in the game. Laura Wolf has 16 to pace the Ramblers. Again, Loyola picks up full in the backcourt. Kelty Weeks. And she got fouled by Johansson. 45 seconds left, an eight point game. 52 year old Johansson. That's her fourth. If you're ready, they are Number 41, Maya Britton. Meantime, Maya Britton. And back in. Maya going to battle for the rebound here. With Johansson with four fouls. Weeks going to get one and one. She has five so far. Loyola down eight with the ball. Got to hurry. Wolf. Long two. Rims no good. Violation will be called. Oh, no, they called it. They're calling a foul on that. Johansson with the push. We get one more look. Watch Johansson right side of your screen. I, I don't agree with that. that. Both of the Colgate players were going after the ball. They kind of hit, tripped over each other. They are the only ones that really collide. I don't think Johansson really had anything to do with that girl falling down. So Erica fouls out. She's disqualified, leaving with six points. And that was her average a year ago. I think you see she's talking with uh, her coach, Nelly Perino, on the bench saying, I didn't even touch her. 58 to 50 and 34 seconds to go. A three possession game still, 59 to 50. Kelty Weeks is out, Isles back in. Colgate has used 12 players. Loyola 10. Heal the rebound. 30 seconds left in the game. Winsky for the Ramblers. Jerowitz fires no good. Babich inside wouldn't go. Tara keeps it alive. Off the wall for three. Long range three. 19 for Wolf. It's a six point game and quickly a backcourt foul. Chris Molly will head to the other end for a free throw. 15.5 remaining. Ramblers down by six. Coach Roan telling his team, make them drive. He doesn't, he knows they, that Loyola needs threes. He's going to let them have all the twos he wants with just 15 seconds left. Chris Molly with a big free throw. Once again, it's a three possession game and now a timeout on the floor. 60 to 53, 15.5 left. And we'll keep it here. Mark Pinsky alongside Stephanie Rivera, former player at Cal Berkeley, now the head coach at Trinity International in Deerfield. I think Coach Rogers right now is telling his team, look, we got to go hard to the bucket and try to try to pick up that three-point play. Coach Roan, on the other hand, is saying, look, let them go ahead and take a two and don't touch them if they're going to the hoop. Right. Really, the turning point was when Winsky hit that three and then got fouled and had a chance for 
an opportunity to get a four-point play. And instead, it turned into a five-point play right. with a rebound. Wolf has a big second half, two threes this half, 12 points in this half as well. She has 19 in the game. There's a young Colgate fan. Personally, I use Colgate toothpaste myself. <laughs> Not because That's of the basketball team, though. Chris Molly out of Gilbert, Connecticut. And he has the free throw line. An eight-point game. 15 seconds left. There's Laura Wolf. She got fouled by Chris Molly. Third foul on Chris Molly. That'll stop the clock with 10.8 remaining. So the shot clock has been turned off for the remainder of the game. Weeks comes in, as does Nasser. Maya Britt is out. And Danielle Isles leaves. She gets a, a big hand from a lot of folks that came in from Palos Heights area. Wolf now with 20 in the game. I mentioned last year she had 29 against the Raiders of Wright State. Sixty-one to fifty-five, a two-possession game. Ten seconds left. You got a foul. Chris Molly with five seconds left could dribble off the clock. And now a foul with two point nine remaining. The problem was there. Winsky was the closest one to her. She has four fouls. She did not want to foul out of the game. But at this point, it doesn't matter. True, it doesn't matter. Winsky hasn't uh, been out of the game at all. She is just the iron horse of this Loyola team. She played all 40 minutes in the exhibition as well. Chris Molly with 22 in the game. And now 23. 62 to 55. I don't think Colgate's going to do anything. With 2.9 seconds to go, they're just going to watch Loyola bring the ball up. 62-55, Winsky, and there's your horn. Final score, 62-55, to 55, 23 for Kara Chris Molly, and the Ramblers led by Laurel Wolf. Definitely good job today. Ramblers made a good run late, but unfortunately they wind up falling short. 62-55, the final. Women's basketball game on Sports Channel will be tomorrow, live at 6 o'clock when Seattle takes on the Richmond Rage. Once again, our final score in the women's game, 62-55, Colgate knocks off Loyola. For Stephanie Rivera, now Mark Pinsky saying goodbye for now. The preceding has been a presentation of Sports Channel. Loyola Ramblers basketball is brought to you in part by the Chicago Tribune, Power Bar, fuel for optimum performance, WBBM TV Channel 2, and by Harris Bank, helping you make better choices. Welcome to Sam's Satellite City. May I help you? I'm interested in DBS. Direct broadcast satellite. You'll need a dish. A receiver decoders and converters, connectors, various and sundry electronic components. I need all this.